So today I'm gonna to go over some post-op instructions with you so you know how to take care of your daughter's socket sites here today, okay? Both sites right now have gauze placed over those sites. They, um, she's biting firm pressure down and we want her to do that every 30 minutes until that bleeding completely stops, okay? So when you get home, you wanna take the gauze out. If it's still pretty saturated with blood, you'll wanna change it. Basically just folding it to like a little pillow size, placing it directly over the socket site, and it's every 30 minutes until it completely stops, okay? There's something called a wet tea bag method that we use just in case if she is still bleeding quite a bit and you're going through a lot of the gauze, you can take a regular old Lipton black tea bag or Big Low, whatever's on the market, wet that tea bag, wring it out, and place it directly over the surgical site, and it's every 30 minutes that you would do this until the bleeding completely stops. Everybody is different with bleeding. Some bleed for 45 minutes to an hour. Everyone is, is very different. But expect once she does stop bleeding, she will have some oozing for the rest of today or even tomorrow because the clot is very delicate and anytime you eat or drink anything, kind of stirs that up a little bit. So don't be alarmed, okay? Basically when her bleeding is completely stopped, she can definitely have something to eat and drink. Anything that she can basically just swallow down would be perfect. Jello, pudding, yogurt, ice cream, milkshake, eating it through a spoon, things like that. As the days progress, two to three days out, she can have more solid foods. Basically just steering away from any hard, sharp edge, peanuts, popcorn, nuts, and seeds, they get wedged into that socket site and you just wanna be careful. They don't like to come out and they can potentially start an infection, okay? So basically we gave her something through the IV line after surgery, that's her first dose of pain medication called Toradol. My take on it, it's like a diesel version of Motrin. So you're unable to have any more Motrin products for at least five hours after that was given. And we'll mark on your post-operative care instruction sheet what time she can take that Motrin again. For some reason, if she does need something before that five hour marker, she's to take the higher dose pain medication, which is called Percocet. Percocet is a narcotic. You wanna be careful with it. No driving a car, working with machinery. So if you do need to take it, or if you've never had it before, we suggest snapping a pill in half, taking that half with a little bit of food, see how you do. If you do okay within 40 minutes or so, then you can have the other half. It's just as a tester, if nobody's had any narcotics before, it kind of you know transitions you in, okay? So basically, you may get some swelling, of course, with any surgery. Peak swelling is 72 hours out from surgery. That's the third day out. So you could be a little bit more swollen than those other two days. It's very normal. And as each day goes, the swelling is gonna go. And the key thing for you that's gonna keep swelling down is basically your Motrin. We'd like you to stay on that Motrin every six hours for a good two days awake time. That's gonna bring down your swelling and constantly give you moderate to mild pain relief. And then if you need to have the higher dose pain medication, at least you have the Percocet to intertwine with that, okay? So no rinsing, spitting, drinking through a straw, those are the key things for, for you. You can certainly brush your adjacent teeth, just be careful of the socket sites, and when you have water in your mouth, just gently let it go over the sink, no heavy spitting it out, okay? Tomorrow is just another day for you. Um, if you work, you may wanna give yourself maybe a couple more days because of swelling. You'll definitely have some soreness in those areas, which are very normal for after surgery, of course. So you wanna just kinda of take it easy. So I'm gonna basically give you this post-operative care instruction sheet. You can certainly go to the website at northeastsurgical.com and review any of the other instructions. And if you need further assistance, you can certainly call the office. One of our friendly surgical assistants will be happy to help you. Or if it happens to be after hours, one of our doctors is always on call 24-7 and they'll be happy to help you with that.